Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. It's always funny with these videos because obviously you're gonna be watching this after Thanksgiving, but here it is Thanksgiving. We're just getting started. It's about 9 a.m. right now. Steve and Little Man are upstairs taking a shower and getting ready. Um, we've actually been up for a few hours already, just kind of cleaning up, getting the handle on the day before we really start the festivities. First thing I wanna do is I wanna get some coffee. Um, it's so funny, you guys know us. We love any kind of holiday tie-in. So today we've got the Starbucks Thanksgiving blend. It's actually pretty good. I actually have a couple hours before we need to get the turkey out. So I'm going to use this time, and I think the turkey is the first thing I need to do today. So I think I'm gonna use this time to just kind of clean up the house and decorate. So in here, um, oh, Steve went to the store the other day and bought these really lovely flowers. I don't know if you can see them because of the backlighting, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off the table and dress the table, get that all ready so that's done. And then yesterday, I was a little late to this, but I always like to put festive plates in our china cabinet. So I've got my turkey plates there. And then I'm gonna go and get our giant pumpkin and stuff to put on top of the cabinet. And just like that, we're all decked out for, <laughs> for Thanksgiving. I almost said Halloween. Um, I usually put these pumpkins up for Halloween and then on in November, I then add the autumn uh, garland, but oh well. Better late than never, right? And just like every year, tradition is to watch Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving, right bud? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, so good. Yeah. By the way, check out Caleb's new haircut here. Someone took scissors to his hair. Look at Snoopy get up. So we had to try a completely See? new hairstyle. Look at, I'll Snoopy look at, get up oh my goodness. Get, oh, that's so silly. All right, and I got the table all set. It's so funny. I always think I'm just gonna go like so minimal because it's just the three of us again this year for Thanksgiving. But then the day comes and I decided to go all out. So I think Mike shared that I was upstairs uh, getting Caleb ready for the day and uh, I come downstairs and the house is completely transformed from this morning. So Mike always likes to do these like, you know, last minute decorating things. We all love it, we like it, but it's tradition, right? So now we're watching Charlie Brown with Caleb. We're gonna turn on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade here in a bit and enjoy the day. Did you talk about the flower arrangement? I did, oh, I said wow. Steve Wayne got flowers. I only showed this one though, I didn't show the other ones. Either. Uh, well, this one's the most impressive one, so we're good. Yeah. But anyhow, yeah. Caleb helped me with this. So we're gonna make sure we had something nice as a centerpiece for Thanksgiving. Caleb really just cut off the stems, but that's his favorite part. He got to handle scissors, which we already talked about. Handling scissors is a new thing yeah. with his hair and everything, Gave right? himself a little haircut. So. But it does look good. <laughs> yeah. he, he looks very stylish, a little bit too grown it, well, up It looks me. good because he took him to the barber and they fixed it. Yes, please fix this. <laughs> but be, admit, this haircut makes him seem a little older. I'm not about that yet. It does, yeah. So he's grown up too it's fast. Cute. Yeah. We got lots of pictures of it. Okay, so as I said earlier, Mike does last minute decorating things, but he doesn't do last minute food preparation. So he's been crazy yeah. busy last couple days, right? Right. So that was actually one of the things I wanted to uh, mention earlier is that usually for Thanksgiving, we start cooking Tuesday. Yeah. I usually make cranberries, the turkey brine. That's when I do all the shopping. I pick up the turkey. And when we mean we, it's it's Mike. Yeah. Yeah, it's just me shopping. <laughs> and I take care of Caleb. But I wanna, I'll want i take the camera because I want to show everybody what I've made so far. Perfect. As we mentioned, um, we're doing a small little Thanksgiving. It's just the three of us, so I'm making it very easy on myself this year. As I mentioned earlier, usually on Tuesday night, I will make the cranberries because I feel like you can make that and put it in your fridge and it actually tastes better on Thanksgiving. Like the flavors kind of like, they marry and develop in the fridge. Um, but this year I decided not to do that because this year William Sonoma came out with cranberry bourbon sauce. So I was like, oh man, we gotta try that. Steve obviously was all on board for that, but hey bud. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna be one of those things though where we're gonna eat it and we're gonna be like, I don't taste the bourbon, but whatever. And then I made two pies yesterday. This is a double crust apple pie, smells amazing. And then little man and I made this one together. He loves pumpkin pie, so he was very eager to help me make it. And then for the stuffing, I'm just gonna do this William Sonoma focaccia stuffing, but I'm gonna add um, these chestnuts to it. So that should be really, really good but I've already made my turkey brine. The turkey is in there right now. It's, I'm probably gonna take the turkey out in about an hour. And then um, I also made um, homemade uh, green bean casserole as well. That's already like done. All I have to do is take it out of the fridge, put it in the oven, warm it up, and we're good to go. So I, I try to make the day before Thanksgiving, like the day with all the cooking, all the prep, all the heavy lifting. So today everything just kind of like gets put in the oven. Yesterday, I also went ahead and peeled and cut up all the potatoes and put them in water. So I just have to take those out, cook them and mash them. And I also went ahead and made the giblet stock for the gravy. So yeah, yesterday was very 
very busy, very chaotic, but today I should be able to breathe a little easier. And yes, costume change. We had to take a, a family picture for uh, some family friends. But. Yeah. I look like schlub though, because this is not what I'm wearing. He tonight. looks great from waist up. From waist up, he's, waist from down, waist he's, up. he's wearing shorts because you're doing all the work. Right. You should not be all dressed up right now. Coming back to our table real quick, we just posted a photo on Instagram wishing everybody um, happy Thanksgiving and we're already getting a bunch of questions about what everything is. So I figured I would use this opportunity to let you know. Someone was asking if this is Pottery Barn. It's not, it's actually all Williams Sonoma. I got this, I love this tablecloth. I got this super cheap. I got it after Thanksgiving when it was on clearance. Do I have it upside down? Oh no, I have it right way. Um, same with these chargers. These are also Williams Sonoma. I got them for like 80% off. And then I've had these turkey plates forever. I think they're dated on the back. Yeah, it says 2012 is when I got the plates. And then this, this is really cool. We got invited into Club 33 in Disneyland. And so while we were there, one of the souvenirs we purchased to mark the occasion was this really cool, I think it's called a wine cuff. Um, yeah, so it's really, really cool. I forgot to mention, another thing we're gonna do is, um, Steve loves Parker House Rolls, but I just don't have the time, patience, or energy to make homemade bread. So I got these um, King's Hawaiian, but it's not the normal flavor, it's the savory butter rolls. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush them with some melted butter and sprinkle on some um, garlic flakes, onion flakes, and sesame seeds. So they'll be like kind of, you know, homemade. Okay, it is uh, 11 o'clock, it's time to take the turkey out. I kinda wish Steve was here to kinda help me with this. It's not the most attractive looking thing, but this is our turkey in the brine. Um, as you can see, I had to wedge a lemonade and a milk carton on either side just to kind of push the liquid up so that it was completely submerged. I'm sure there is a better way to do this, but this is what I came up with. I wanted to show this to you guys, but I, I kind of want to wait till Steve gets here. The reason being, because as you saw, I'm brining it in the brining bags. Um, I should get a brining bucket. I have a bucket for like small chickens, but nothing for a 20 pound turkey. But one year, I took it out of the fridge, I put it down on the ground, because my idea was that I would open up the bag, lift the turkey out, and put it on the roasting pan that was on the counter. And I thought there would be enough weight at the bottom from all the liquid and like the aromatics that were in the bag that the bag would stay upright. Yeah, that didn't happen. I lifted the turkey up and the bag fell over and all of that brining liquid and all those like uncooked turkey juices, all of that just washed all over my kitchen floor. It was a nightmare. Okay, so Steve is not back yet. I just texted. He had to run to the store because Caleb had to go to the bathroom and couldn't wait. So um, he's stuck there. So I'm gonna have to attempt to do this on my own. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put the brining bag in the sink and from there I will lift the turkey and put it on the roasting pan. Idea being that if the bag falls over, at least it does it in the sink and not on the floor. I think this is gonna work. Here it is. So I got it out of the brining bag, didn't fall over, and um, I had to rest it here for a little bit so it, the brining liquid could drain out, and I made it to the roasting pan. But um, I didn't notice this when I opened the turkey yesterday to put it in the brine. They clipped off the wing tips on both sides here. That's kind of weird because usually, I don't want to touch it right now because I just washed my hands, but usually I would take the wing tips and fold them under so you get that classic, like that classic look when you trust your turkey. I'm not gonna be able to do that this year. Like, that's kind of weird. Why would they clip the wing tips off? It's like a good idea. I don't know. I don't, I don't <laughs> Just watching the parade. Not watching the parade. <laughs> How is the parade? Oh, that's pretty, I like Grogu. Yeah, that was cute. Yeah, that was adorable, right? You liked it too? Oh, you want me to talk right Oh, he doesn't want to. <laughs> oh, they're singing. Like, <laughs> okay, so it is 1230. I've gone ahead and started preheating my oven. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a stick of butter, I'm gonna melt it down, and we're gonna to add to that um, one and a half cups of dry white wine. We're using this Justin Sauvignon Blanc, I'm not sure if you can see that. And then I'm going to soak um, this cheesecloth in that mixture, and then you'll drape the cheesecloth over the turkey as it roasts. So the parade has just, well, it's ending. Santa Claus is here. And um, we're watching it on a delay, though. 
but I've got everything set up because I want the turkey to go in, but Steve thinks it's too early. Well, we discuss this, we discuss this. So you want it to be out at 5.30, so we can eat at six. So that means we need to put it in in about 40 minutes, but right. Mike's ready to go right now. Yeah, I kind of want to just get it in. If it comes out early, it's fine. So with the parade over, it's now time to start another tradition I have, and that is to put on Miracle on 34th Street. Um, I don't like sit and watch it, but I do like having it on in the background while I cook. And um, I ruffled some feathers last year when I told you guys this. I actually don't watch the original black and white one. I watch the newer one from the 90s. I have good memories from it. I, I, my mom took my sister and I to go see it in the theater when we were kids, and I don't know, I just like it. So how are you keeping all these traditions, like? <laughs> They're all in my head. Yeah, you gotta probably write these down. I don't know that this is a tradition. Yes, we watch it every year when I'm cooking. Oh. Okay. All right, well, I guess let's watch it. All right, you busted out the apron, you know it's about to get messy. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? Okay, so um, I just trust it. I slathered it with, um, I forget, I think it's half a stick of butter. And then I trust it. And I, like I said, I was really nervous about how they clipped the wings off, but I managed to make it work with the trussing. So it still looks nice. Just for everybody that's not you, because like me, I didn't know that was called trusting. What is trusting? Trussing. Trussing? Yeah. It's like when, when you tie it up so that it all cooks nice and evenly. And okay. Beautiful. Oh, I never gonna, liked it because sometimes I know sometimes people just don't do it and the wings are kind of flapping and that's fine But this will give it this will cook it nicely and it'll make a nice presentation when you put it on the platter Is this what Martha Stewart taught you to do? Yes, of course <laughs> but, Oh, there's no bag in there. Oh, I just put butter chicken. Oh my gosh. Someone didn't replace the bag I'm you told me to fix the blu-ray player. <laughs> so Steve's over there very frustrated because we're having issues with because of this tradition movie. We haven't had the tradition so all of a sudden Mike Apparently this is the only movie we have on disc and not digital copy, so we're trying to get the Blu-ray player work. Right. So, struggle bus. Okay, I'll put the trash bag in now, thank you. <laughs> so even though Mike is tricky enough to feed us for a full month, we still have our barley spoon. <laughs> Got delivered, because someone forgot to I cancel that. This yes. I forgot, oh well. Yeah. By the way, the kitchen smells so good. It does. So is this our first basting after this, yes. for this one? Yeah. So it's gonna come out in about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna do the first baste. And actually you keep the cheesecloth on for an hour and a half and then you take it off. So right. is, this a, is this a cooking video? Like are we trying to like break into it Food isn't, Network? So I should probably stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is that last year we were like, what did we vlog last year for Thanksgiving? I totally thought we had a Thanksgiving vlog and I went to go look at it cause I'm like, I don't really remember it. There, th we didn't. We, we didn't, didn't do one apparently. <laughs> So, I think I posted a lot on Instagram. I think I did Instagram stories. So, truly original concept for us. Yes. Here we go. And the Blu-ray player is still not working. So, it's supposed to be doing an update right now. I don't know if it's going to work at all. But I demanded Mike to make sure that we have a digital copy of this. I think we do, right? I think so. All right. Well, that's our next option. But now this is my activity. Mike's cooking. I'm trying to figure out how to get our electronics to work. Why isn't the Blu-ray working? And because, it, and because the internet broke last. The internet broke? Yeah. Did Ralph break it? No. You remember Ralph breaks the internet? Yeah, I did himself. He did it himself? Yeah. Yeah? What are you eating right now? This is Pimper Lane chips. Oh, yummy. And some milk? Yeah, milk too. And, and this for the um, a garbage. Do you like your chips? Whoa! Okay, so I was just asking Mike, like, traditionally, what'd you guys do with leftovers from, like, Thanksgiving? And I find it so intriguing what his response was. So, did you have leftovers for Thanksgiving? What are you talking about? Turkey leftovers. Did you ever have turkey leftovers for Thanksgiving as a family? Oh, up? okay. I'm, like, totally... Sorry. I know. I, I just caught him off guard. <laughs> um, no, because my family, we always went up to Lake Tahoe for... Thanksgiving, so we rarely were home, and so we usually went to the casinos. Which I cracked up because he's like, no, we always went to the casino. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> it doesn't sound <laughs> no. fancy, but no, we always found like a really nice restaurant in one of the casinos, and they always had like a Thanksgiving dinner. And like growing up, that's just what I always thought um, Thanksgiving was. So I find it so funny that you're such a traditionalist, and you guys went to casinos for <laughs> I Thanksgiving. Know, we totally did. <laughs> But here we are, now that we have our own family doing our things, it, yeah. you've cemented our Thanksgiving mm -hmm. as a big celebration we do, right. right? So, And it's funny too because my parents and my brother and his wife, they're actually up there right now. They're up in Lake Tahoe. So yeah. I don't think they're going to hit up the casino today no, though. I no. think they're doing something different. So <laughs> Maybe next year we'll show you Tahoe, but this year yeah. we're staying home and doing the traditional Thanksgiving thing. Right. So little man just woke up from a nap. 
But as you can see, we finally got the movie working. Yeah, it's finally going. The Blu-ray player <laughs> is still not working, though. So this is a digital copy we had. So, But we're making the best of it. Super tired today, though. All right, it's looking good. Yeah, it smells so good in here, too. So how much longer do we have? I think about probably another hour. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is going to go in for another hour. And then um, I've already, I'm already heating. I'm heating up the mashed potatoes so I can mash those and yeah. You're heating up the potatoes so you can mash the potatoes. Right, yeah. yes. <laughs> so cooking's a family exercise. Yes. So, so Caleb's yeah. helping me make the mashed potatoes. Of course. And he's putting a straw cleaner. Oh, hey, let's not keep <laughs> near the mashed potatoes. Are you excited about dinner, bud? Yeah, I, I do this to clean my playground so dirty had dust. Oh, yeah, you can use that to clean your playground? Yeah, I ate this one at first. Charlotte's what? Pretty That's right, like straws. This. Like this. Oh yeah, I'm watching, I'm watching. What's daddy making? What'd you help? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mash potatoes. What? Did this? you mash them? Did you mash them? No, I can't. Well, you, you did try, you helped a little bit. All right, so we've had to move quickly because our turkey was done a lot earlier than we thought. So I got the mashed potatoes done. Those are warming. I've got my green bean casserole in the oven. And Steve is making our stuffing. I got put to task. Yeah. <laughs> so everything kind of came out, like Mike said, at very early. Which yeah. Meant that all the other courses, that, not courses, um, sides that Mike was planning, right. um, needed to be rushed. So here we go. <laughs> but it looks good. It smells awesome. And we're supposed to have had this warmed, but oh well. <laughs> it's room temperature. I'm it's sure warm. it's fine. It's warm in Arizona. <laughs> Right, so Mike's over here finishing up the gravy. Yes. He tasked me with doing some rolls, so threw together some sh stuff together: garlic, onion powder, butter, sesame seeds. So looks so good. It smells good. So <laughs> here's hoping it actually tastes good. Yeah. All right. So would it be a normal like cooking situation if I didn't complain about something, right? Oh gosh. Okay. So Mike likes to make everything from scratch. <laughs> Green bean casserole. That's one of those things that I think it's like one of those like Campbell soup like originals. Right. Like it's a staple of like I don't know the, the like fifties family. You got to use and the cream of mushroom soup. I've never been a fan of green bean casserole. I've never liked it. So, I love it. But I know Steve likes it. Yes. So, but I did find this recipe comes from William Sonoma. So, um, and they sell a box, but it's like twenty dollars, and right. it's just powder. So. Yeah. But I did find they ha they actually have the recipe posted on their website if, if you wanted to make it from scratch, from like actual like milk and right. seasoning. All and those stuff. wonderful, yeah. yeah, fantastic things. So anyhow, I I don't mind mushrooms as long as it's like a part of a dish, not the main dish. <laughs> look at those, that's a huge, look at those huge mushrooms. I think this is not a green bean casserole, I think it's a mushroom casserole it's with green be beans on the side. Okay, here's the funny thing guys. <laughs> I made this yesterday and I was like, here, taste this. Tell me what you think. He was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Yeah, I just tried the green bean. I didn't see how big those ones are. Well then avoid the mushrooms. Apparently, all right. <laughs> but can I just talk about the, the gravy? This gravy smells amazing. Um, I've made this obviously numerous times. It's delicious, but I will say this. I feel like the most stressful part about your Thanksgiving meal is the gravy. At least Mike's most stressful part is because... It's stressful because you can't do it. I made the giblet stock yesterday, but you can't really like make your gravy until your turkey's done. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time that's like your family's already there. So you're in the kitchen trying to yep. make gravy and... So Mike always has a can of gravy as a backup, just in case. I do. Just I always buy the, the Williams Sonoma gravy base as a backup, yep. just in case. Do you think I should show the gravy with the the neck and everything in there? Is that going to be weird? No, it's fine. All right. Cause it, so yeah, it's it's the so this is like basically it's the pan drippings, right? Yeah, it's the pan drippings with a little bit of white wine and the giblet stock I made yesterday. It's got the neck and the like. What do they call it? The gizzards. Yeah. Those are in there too, but those get strained out. The remains. The yeah. So you call it giblet? I always call it giblets. Oh, I don't know. What is it? Anybody? No. I fixed it. No. <laughs> that is so much. So the, a, it's a, it's kind of a <laughs> it's kind of a deep pan. So oh it's my like, gosh. It's the best part. It's supposed to be like a couple little curly cues here of the fried onions. No, like but... he loves fried onions, so he's gonna love this dish. It's for the two of us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is totally gonna date us, but we just had Halloween. Yeah. You and I, one of our favorite movies is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. <laughs> totally I feel like there's a scene where she makes a casserole and she doesn't like the way it looks. So she just opens a bag of <laughs> chips and just pours it on. That's what Steve just did to my green bean casserole. Hey, it's not, I think she did a bag of Funyuns. Did she or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> 
All right, here it is. I think it's rested long enough. Yeah. It's on the platter. And we went ahead and got some sage leaves because, you know. Mike needs a no, decorate. I was, needs gonna, I was gonna say, we have to Instagram it. We have to photograph it. Cause if you don't Instagram your turkey. It's not real. Did, it's you, not did real. you even have Thanksgiving? We didn't have it. <laughs> so Steve's gonna dress it up, take some photos. And I'm gonna finish up my gravy. All right, I think we are ready. Look at this spread. <laughs> so impressive. we've got um, we've got our turkey. Looks great. Steve dressed it up with the sage and the apples. We've got our mashed potatoes. These are Steve's Parker House rolls that he made, or I guess he, he okay. dressed them up. We've got our green bean casserole, our focaccia stuffing, and our bourbon cranberry sauce. Did you forget about the gravy? Oh my God, I totally forgot. And this gravy, you guys, I tried this gravy. Oh my dear Lord. Yeah, you're very excited about that. <laughs> it reminds me, pat, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the gravy at Bull and Bear when they give you the fried chicken. Oh, like the foie gras one? Yes. Okay. You know how much I love like how everything's all dressed up. You got this beautiful thing over here. And we got the pipe work still over here. Right. <laughs> Caleb's little jungle gym. But yeah, I think we are ready to eat. All right. So let's, let's do, do this. this. All right, Steve is gonna carve here. This is always the most stressful. <laughs> so I'm gonna Normally we're surrounded by all of our families, and I'm here like right. waiting for everybody. You do like... a great job of carving Thank the turkey. You. I just I did tell him though. I was like, oh, you're not gonna carve it at the table, like no, it's in Miracle on 34th such a Street. Mess. It's fine if I like, take off like a piece and here's your meal. No, we like to do like everything on a platter. So right, it makes so we're gonna it so much easier. Yeah. So so yeah. I told him I was like, if you want to be like Dylan McDermott in the movie, you have to put a you have to put a jacket on. I don't want to. I don't want that. I don't want that. In fact, we're not going to film this right now. We're going to just oh, show gosh. when it's all done here in a few minutes. Okay. All right. So we are all set. So Steve is making Caleb's plate right yeah. now. Um, but look at this. I don't know why he was so like concerned. It looks so good. <laughs> oh, I know it looks good. <laughs> is that good? Okay. So Caleb's going to bite into it. He's How a is tough it? critic too. Good. Oh my. Okay. So wow, that is an enormous bite. <laughs> <laughs> you must like it. Granted, he does know that if he eats everything, he gets pumpkin pie with whipped cream after this. So Yummy. and apple pie. You made apple pie too. I did make apple pie. Yes. All right, and this is my plate. Again, we've got the roasted turkey, the cream infused mashed potatoes, Parker House rolls, focaccia stuffing, green bean casserole bourbon cranberry sauce, and I'm gonna go ahead and top this all off with our homemade gravy. Oh my gosh, look at that pour. It's like silk. Well, you're getting gravy on everything. <laughs> <laughs> gravy everywhere. I love gravy. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Okay, so what are your thoughts? All this dinner? work, all day long, for 10 <laughs> minutes of happiness. I know, right? It's like over so quick. But not really, because we're gonna have leftovers for, for a sure. week or so. It's gonna yeah. be amazing. But I'm actually surprised as to <laughs> Caleb's <laughs> <It's> wild animal. <laughs> Real quick though, I want to I want to check in with you. What did you think of the bourbon cranberry sauce? Uh, I get no bourbon. <laughs> However, I like it better than Mike's usual cranberry sauce. Oh gosh! And your usual cranberry sauce I is. Ate turkey. You ate some more turkey. What? Good awesome. job, man. How much did you have? Let me see. Oh, you're so silly. <laughs> Uh, admittedly, you always get your cranberry sauce from Williams Sonoma. True. So it's not like I'm I'm cheating on you by saying this one's better right. than yours, but I do like the flavor profile of this one. But it's definitely not bourbon. If you put bourbon yeah. on the bottle, you better make sure it tastes like bourbon. Yeah, but it was still good though. I mean, they didn't card you when you bought it, right? No. Okay, so it can't be that much <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> All right, Caleb. What okay. was your favorite thing? Yes. Okay, Caleb. Real quick, we got mashed potatoes. Are you looking? We got mashed potatoes, green beans, stuffing, turkey. What's your favorite? Bread? You forget about bread? <laughs> I may have pushed that, but that, I made that, so. Bread. Okay, as you can see, we are having a phenomenal Thanksgiving this year. Yes. And um, you wanna see? Yeah. Oh, here you can oh. see. You wanna help vlog? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. nice. <laughs> look at, look at that one. That's a very oh, flattery yeah. angle of me, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you wanna look that way? Oh, you wanna show everybody your monkey bars? Did you just toot? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll try again. I'll try again. We'll try again. <laughs> so, okay, real quick, let's talk to dad. Yeah. He gives me grief every year because I love to watch Miracle on 34th Street, the oh, 1993 what? version. Stop. Who was crying Whatever. at the end of it today? How can you not? <laughs> 
Okay, so little man is going to bed pretty soon, so I went ahead and sliced him a piece of the pumpkin pie and the apple pie, dressed it with some whipped cream. I think he's gonna be in heaven. All right, so little man finished all of his dinner. Well, at least what we told him he had to finish. Hey, ready? What's coming? What's pie. coming? Pie. pie! Pie! Here we go. This is the pumpkin pie you and I made, and then I gave you a little sliver of apple pie as well. What? Whoa. You get two pies? Yeah. I tried some on. Try some. Extreme. Well, I tried some in this. All right. Well. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? Does that mean you like it? Is it good? Yeah. Does it get a thumbs up? That's a finger point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. Yeah. We had a great day. A very fun day, right, bud? Yeah. Yeah. Was the food good? Yeah. 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 yeah and the pie do. Oh, the and the pie, and the pie. was good. Pie <laughs> was good. And the turkey. And the turkey. Yeah. <laughs> good job, buddy. We hope you had a good time watching this video. Thank you for spending the holiday with us. We hope you all had a great Thanksgiving as well. Goodbye. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna put this little one to bed. Yes. I'm bigger. Oh, I'm big. I'm sorry. Oh, I called him little. He is bigger. So we're going to put this big little guy to bed. Hope you had a great time. From our magic family to yours, enjoy. Have a great day. <laughs> Rudolph, my dear, the forecast ain't clear.